Howdy folks, it's the Tall Turtle here. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And we are going to finally start some of the bush trips. Not some, one of them. There are three bush trips to be had. At least as far as I know, there are only three. I don't think more unlock as you finish these. I think these are the three right now. There are more in the works. The US update is supposed to have an Alaskan bush trip. Anyway, these are 8 to 10 hours long, depending on which one. We'll get more detail in a moment. However, I wanted to back out and show you something with the achievements, which is hilarious. If you look where it says bush trip, it says 5. Now, were there 5 at one time? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure right now, at the time of this recording, there are 3 bush trips. No more unlock. There are 3 bush trips. Um, so this says 5 for me. Some people say it says 3 for them. One person claims there says 20. Not sure what's up with that. But the reason why this matters is because in order to get the completionist achievement, you have to complete these. Someone said you don't have to do the training, but that doesn't matter. But you have to do all the landing challenges, which I've done. And then I'm going to be doing the bush trips, so I only have access to three. So, if there are only three, and this is five, we can't get the completionist achievement. Which is fine, I just think it's kind of funny. And I've done way more than 32 hours. That's just 32 hours that got logged. I should be close to 100 by now. But anyway, back to the bush trips. So again, there are three to choose from. I've heard that the Balkans one, because it's in the Cessna, is the easiest. Because you just tune autopilot to the GPS and just land at each airport. And it's a piece of cake. Um... But we're going to start here. We'll do, you know, do one, two, three, probably. It's going to take quite a while. Quite a while. It's going to take me a month or two, at least, maybe more, because I'm going to do other flights in between. So I'm going to do some legs, some flights, more legs, some flights. You know what I mean? You'll see what I'm talking about once you get underway. And yes, there are achievements for each of these. In order to get the achievement, though, you have to have your nav eights turned off. And once you've started it, you can't click the back on track if you get lost. So we have to pay attention to this one while we look around. Some people actually pull up Google Maps on another device and follow Google Maps, which is interesting because then you can look up the airports. But anyway, I have to turn off my nav aids, and I forgot to do that, so I'll be right back. And there we go. We can't even tell right through the edit. So the only nav aids I have turned on anyway are the point of interest markers and the fauna markers just for sightseeing. So that's all I have done anyway. So there's no loss there. So those are turned off. We'll be careful not to hit back on track. And um, that it should be an achievement for this in like a month. <laughs> How long it takes us to get through. So enough of an introduction. Let's get going. All right. We're going from Breckenridge, California to Kilo Mike Papa Indigo in Mariposa. Mariposa, Yosemite. All right. Bush trips. So there are how many legs on this one? 25 legs on this one. They range from, you can see, 12 minutes. Some of them are over an hour, I think. Actually, these are all pretty short in this particular bush trip. So you just, you know, do one or two. There's an hour there. Do one or two or three over time. Um, it says here, 9 hours, 45 minutes. Almost 1,000 nautical miles. 25 legs. So what you do is you land, you take off and land. And when you get there, it saves your progress from there. And then you can go like this. See, we can't continue. See, because we haven't been there yet. But then you would start, you know, where we left off. And we would just work our way through, right? Uh, when whatever, this is all pre-decided for you. Um, these are images of what it looks like, where you're going. And there's a nav log for each one with timing. If you want to do that, we're not really going to do it that way. We're just going to fart around. You can use the VFR map. You just cannot click back on track if you get lost. Alrighty, so here you go, bush trips from abandoned gold fields on California's western foothills to the cracked desert plains of Black Rock City, from the glistening shores of Lake Tahoe to the sprawling cliffs of Yosemite Valley. This epic journey into the majestic Sierra Nevada has no shortage of breathtaking scenery to discover from a perspective few pilots ever get to experience, aside from the thousands who are doing this in flight sim, right? You'll be flying the Zlin Savage Cub. With a cruising speed of 90 knots, this is perfect plane for exploring the stunning, st stunning sights and natural wonders of North America's west coast. Assistance on the trip will be available in the form of a help button on the VFR map. However, be advised that using this will disable achievements tied to this activity. So we can use the map. 
we just can't use the help button. That's my understanding. We can use the map, but we can't use the button. I hope I'm right before I sink 10 hours into this and find out I'm wrong. Um, yeah. Alrighty, here we go. Let's fly away. Okay, so we are starting in the air. Um, I think it's because... I started this the first day I got this in, um, just to see what it was like, and I'll scoot around. And I don't know how to restart from the ground, so I'm really confused right now. I don't even know where we are because I guess I'll just scoot around. So we have to figure out where we are. Oh no! I think what we might have to do is fly back to the airfield using the VFR map and um because I don't want to click the back on track it'll screw up the, the achievement so hopefully I didn't use the back on track when I was screwing around um we need to find the airfield so we can start over so okay there's water there and a road that goes around it there's the airport. Okay, that looks like that water, right? Okay, so there's that water. And the airport is due west of the water. So there's the water and due west of the water. Okay, so we actually know... No, wait, it's this airport down here. Whoops, what am I doing? I'm kind of panicking. Okay, so there's the water. We want to go south of the water. Which would be... Not that way. Um, yes, it is that way. Okay, so we're gonna, if we look due south of the water, we will see the airport right there. That must be it right there. Am I right? We got a bunch of... Yeah, because that would be that. There's our airfield. Okay, so that's our first line. Okay, we know where we are now. So let's turn around. <laughs> okay, I'm just really hoping I did not do the back on track when I was screwing around because if I did, then um, I'm going to do all this work and not get an achievement. I'm not doing it for the achievement. Wait, what? That's not us. No, no, we're way up here. That's just somebody else. Oh, I also had to turn off the nameplates because um, it's showing everybody who is doing this bush trip. And there's like a thousand people in the air right now. And when you're trying to look out the window with all the nameplates on, it was just completely full of names. You couldn't see anything useful. It was just names everywhere. Of course, only just 50 at once, but still it was nuts. Okay, so we went all the way around. I was so busy talking. We made a complete perfect loop. All right, so what are you doing? There's the water. We want to go a little east of the water and then follow this river north and look for more water. That's what we're going to do. So let's put the map away and let's make another circle because I wasn't paying any attention to what I was doing. And um, get some altitude. Okay, so there's the river. We want to go exactly behind us. Okay, what do I have for presets? There's one, there's two, three does nothing, four does nothing. Five nothing, six nothing, seven nothing, eight nothing, nine nothing, zero nothing. Okay, I only have two presets set up. <laughs> okay, we'll be setting those up too as we fly. All right, so there's the water, right? And we're gonna turn around to follow this river. We wanna go east, well, that's north, yeah. We wanna go east, oh, we are east of the water. Okay, we wanna go through here. That's where we wanna go, All right? The water should be behind us now. Okay, so the water's a little bit yeah, water's right behind us. So where are we headed? We're headed about east. About east. So we should be like right... We should be like right here. Right? And then we're going to follow this river. And the river sort of split. Sort of. I think. 
I'm pretty confident this is where we're going. Okay, that's a great screenshot, actually. Let's do that. Let's hop inside. Let's pull up the nav log. Not that we're going to even use it. But um, this is welcome to Bakersfield, California. Your first stop on the tour of the North American High Sierra from a quaint airstrip. Wind your way north along a stretch of road through your culture-rich landscape. Eventually, your path will intersect with State Route 178 Highway, leading you northeast towards Sierra Nevada Mountains and the path of the Kern River. So that must be where we are right now. Doesn't even tell you. Yeah, this P014. What? Are they just PO airports? Oh yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. All right. So we should do that, but we're not. Don't get mad at me. Whatever. Alrighty. Cool. So we are going to fly through this. Let's get some throttle. Why my throttles all the way back? I guess I wasn't paying much attention, was I? Flaps are in. Throttles back. Obviously, fixed gear. I don't want to think about the aircraft. I need to do a checklist and everything. Once around the ground at the next airport. I'm completely thrown off because we started in the air. And um, I don't know how you would um, reset this. I hit restart, that didn't work. Weird, maybe I have to like clear out some files or something to reset it. Anyway, let's get some presets set up. This will be zero. And this will be, what's this gonna be? That'll be nine. Alrighty, and this will be seven there that's a good start all right so what are we doing we're just going to follow this river that we're over for quite a ways and um looking for a huge lake and then that's halfway and then we'll land over there oh can we tune that ndb are we allowed to do that oh it's not going to tell us this is an x-plane it's not going to tell us what that is see an x-plane you just click on it will give you a frequency why doesn't this map do that anyway um, what do we have for fuel? Do I even know? No idea. I gotta learn this aircraft too. We're going really fast for this airplane, but that's okay. Um, I also think it's funny. The overlay that it tells you on your way. The distance is way longer than the wordy introduction was. And the speed, or the time it takes is way shorter. It says seven hours for over a thousand nautical miles. The other one said nine and a half hours. So anyway, we're going to fly through here looking for a huge lake following a river and a road. I'm pretty confident we're in the right spot. In fact, I'm very confident. There's another screenshot opportunity. So I'm going to be quiet now and look for a huge lake and give you some sightseeing. And I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, so, river opening, fly above the Kern River as a car through the chasm between the two mountains from the mouth of the Kern Canyon. Even as a highway below takes a divergent path, soon enough you'll be reunited with the road, bends back, and when the road bends back into view with a modest bridge that carries across the river. I didn't see a bridge, but I assume we're in the right spot. And then you do that, you know, you do this direction, you know, 65, 60 degrees, that's what I've been doing this whole time, so. Well, there's 55, but... You get the idea. Um, then Onyx continue tracking the current river along all the Swiss and turns past rugged trailheads. Such a hydroelectric hydro plant, which I didn't see that either. Cliffside. Well, we've only been flying for I don't know how long. You're nearly out of the canyon now. A few more twists and turns. Lake Isabella. That's that big lake we're looking for. So again, 50 degrees or so. And then, we're going to make a sharp turn here. From the shore of the Massive Madman Reservoir, follow the curves of the lake to the east for eight and a half minutes. In the distance, you see the mouth of another river. This is South Fork Kern. And it's waiting to lead you further. And then finally, 
the South Fork Kern flows past several small flatland towns. So if you read this very carefully, and you don't start halfway through the lake like I did, and you do your times and your heading, you should be shouldn't be that difficult. Um, but because we started in the air, I think I knew what we did. I think I knew where we were. I'm hoping we were right. Um, and we're, yeah, we're between 50 and 60 degrees. So um, we're just going to keep going like that. That's not over. Let's not go too fast and burn an airplane. Holy guacamole. Be careful there. Otherwise, yeah, see there's buildings. You can tell there's a hand put in by hand. So that's what we're looking for because those are not natural. So yeah, we're going to keep heading that way and look for this water, which I think is right there. So I think we're right about here. And we'll curve left, actually right about here. We'll curve left a little bit. I think that's what that is. I don't know. Do not click that back on track. Do not click that back on track. Now that we know where we are, let's be a little more thorough here. So those of you who aren't able to do this yourselves, we can enjoy this together. So we are reading right here. You're nearly out of the canyon now. After a few more twists and turns, a river will lead you past a town born during the California Gold Rush. That's right here. Toward the heart of the Kern River Valley, Lake Isabella. Okay, now that I know what's going on. This is really freaking cool, let me tell you. You can read about this real life area while you fly over real life area. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I'm like, this is just blows my mind that you can do this. So there is the mining town. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, so we are going to continue here in a moment and we're gonna head um, 120 degrees. So if you look on your compass down here, we'll turn to the right, 120 will be just past east. Very cool. Or you can look on the map. And we're just going to head out of here. Looks like there's a river. Looks like there's an airport at the end, but there's a river we're going to follow. But we got to be careful so we don't, um, don't stay on the river too long. When the river turns left, we can go right. Very, very freaking cool. This is really cool. This is more interesting than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was just going to be, you fly a path, you land 27 times to get an achievement. But no, this is really freaking cool. All these details and stuff. How amazing is this? So we have to get ready to leave this town. Let's look at that and enjoy that, though. Isn't that cool? So if it was a gold rush town, I wonder if it's like casinos and stuff now. I really don't know. I should do some research, huh? Look at that. All the highways going through there. Imagine what this drive is like on the ground, driving this in real life. Holy cow, I can only imagine. Look at that. And that's how they built some of these towns. There's gold to be had, and that's how they decided... Alrighty, let's not overspeed and ruin our aircraft because I don't know what realism has turned on with these things. We might actually crash and burn, and that would be a huge bummer. So, looks like there's an airport over there. That's not where we're going. We're going to head this way and follow the river out at 120 degrees. That's what we'll do in a moment. So, let's go back to our nav log. Alrighty, so let's see here. Continue around the river. Um, Lake Isabella, Freeman Junction. From the shore of the massive man-made reservoir, follow the curves of Lake Isabella to the east. 
in the distance you'll find the mouth of another river feeding the lake. This is South Fork Kern River, and it's waiting to lead you further. All right, so that's where we're headed now. And then, then that's going to be for about eight minutes or so. That's the thing, though. You time it, but based on what speed. That's the thing I don't quite understand about this. I understand the direction, the distance you don't really know without GPS, but the direction for a certain amount of time, but at what speed? Because right now, redlining it, it's not going to take 815. So is it based on the cruising speed of 90 knots, maybe? I don't know. That's probably what it means. But anyway, there's our river we're looking for. We're going to follow this for a while. And then, um, let's see. Then the South Fork River flows past several small flatland towns, eventually leading to a riverside community bordered by two rocky outcroppings, a wide open invitation back into the Sierra Nevada mountain pass. Right? Okay, then that's it. So, we're just going to follow this for a while. And... The river will turn left. We're going to go straight through these mountains. So, we're going to want to look for two mountains we can't make it through. See how it's dark brown? We'll go between them, and then there's an airport. And some of these airports, I guess, are so close together that it's easy to land at the wrong one. So the tricky thing now, that is buggy if you want to say that, is landing detection was broken and now it's supposed to be fixed. What that means is you land and it should immediately say you're at the right spot. But I've heard sometimes you have to taxi around the area for a while until it detects that you're there. Um, that's a huge airport though. There's no way we're going to miss that. Okay, some of these are just little like grass strips, but this is a big one. And we'll use ATC to help us. Okie dokie, I hope that means when I taxi and stop, though, that it gets me. I wonder how that's going to work. I wish the first airport were tiny, because then we would know what it does when you find the right spot. Like, does it pick it up as we're moving? Do we have to turn the engines off? How does it know? Oh boy, that's going to take a while to figure out. Oh, well, anyway, here we are. Let's go back to where we are now, which is right here follow the river until we until it turns to the left see if we go too far then we're screwed in here see so we gotta be really careful we gotta figure out what does it look like are the road journey thing no nope um, there's some little pondages there's okay so there's that big pond there it looks like a kidney actually looks like a stomach but we're going too fast let's not blow this up I had it trimmed perfectly too, I should just let it go. So there's the kidney. And then we'll have that right there's that. Oh that. And then there'll be three lakes on the right. And then that's where we look for this mountain pass. So it should be like right here. I think it's gonna be right here. But we'll see. All right, I'm going to keep an eye out for these lake feature things. And um, hopefully not get lost. I'll see you in a little bit. I think this is our turn right here. I hope anyway. Um, or maybe not, because look, the river, no, the river did not end. Okay. Because the river 
Let's do some mountains up into the mountains. We're supposed to turn here, I think. I was looking for these. I found this right there. And I believe that is the river turning left into the mountains. So I believe, yeah, see, the mountains are right there. So I believe, see that? Yep, that's the cutout. So it should be turning right. Right through here, I hope. Because it's not back there. So it should be right in here. Um, but I can see if you're not used to how Flight Simulator works, how you could get lost. So, the train we're staying on pretty much stays level. Although it's going to be high around us. So where are we going? Um, I don't see any... Let's see, 120 degrees. Do we ever turn 120 degrees? After the lake? Kind of. Yeah. So now... Um... We might be lost, folks. We might be lost. Although it's kind of yellowish there. Um, do we have two lakes to our left? Back here. Yeah, see right there. See, boom. Let's go outside and have a look at that. Let's see. Well, there's one lake. <laughs> hmm. This was the only way through. So maybe we follow this highway through here? I don't know, are we 128, 120 degrees? No, that's way over there. Um, I don't think we were supposed to turn sooner because we followed the river and that was a sharp. No, we saw this cut out perfectly. And then we went through here, yeah. The only thing would be if we turned too soon. But I don't think so because these peaks here have to be what's in front of us. And this is the 120 right here. Yeah. So let's get some altitude and um, cross this range right over here. And of course, I'm not watching anybody else do this because I didn't want to like ruin it, you know. So we're just going to cross through this range, I think. Follow this highway. See, there's a highway there, which normally there are highways on here. But maybe only the major, major ones. So anyway, we're going to come out through here and then. Even if we're off, we should pretty much go to see this airport. It's huge. And the, it's like a triangle bow tie looking airport. And then we'll call ATC to land. So I'm going to go through here. And we come out, look for an airport. So how this goes. I'm kind of nervous now. I was really confident, and I'm kind of not so confident. Let's see what happens. I think we did it. I think we made it through the pass in the right way. So we're going to keep going through this highway and then when it gets to be the clear, we're going to look left and look for a bow tie airport. And then we'll tune in ATC for a Kilo Indigo Yankee Kilo and see what it tells us to do. Oh, is there ATC on this? Well, there's no ATC. Okay, there's that. There's no ATC. Okay, never mind then. It's all up to us to figure it out, which is totally cool because I was worried about ATC and all this weird stuff. So, looks like we just land the plane. That is awesome. Is the wind turbines up there or there's trees? Something's up there. I don't know. Alrighty, let's see. We're almost in the clearing and then we'll look for an airport. So, it looks like our route, route goes not to the airport, but if you pull up the nav log, it says... K-I-Y-K -I -K -I -Y -K. and there's K-I-Y-K -K, so we know we go there so anyway let's um, start looking for that airport now now that we're through the pass do we see something do we see an airport uh, should be around this corner because it should be to our left unless I screwed up 
and there's no ATC option, like I said, even if you go up here, there's no ATC option. Sorry, I have hiccups. And the reason why is probably with ATC, it will tell you where to go. ATC will give you vectors, and that be not what they want you to do. So, assuming we're coming out of here, I'm not going to be able to see the airport for quite a bit until we get away from this mountain. It'll be a little bit to our left. We have to make sure we land at the right place. So again, looks like a bow tie. Do we see a bow tie in this mess? That might be right there. Maybe. Alright, there's an airport there. Doesn't... Is it a bow tie? Hmm. Let's see. What other airport options would there be? So, there's a runway there. Do we see another runway there and there? Yep, that has to be it, right? Three runways. Runway one, looks like we're on, aiming for. Runway, I think that says one. It's a single number, can't really tell. But let's assume that's it. So let's come in for a landing. Hopefully this is the right spot. If not, we'll have to take off and find another airport. <laughs> But this sure looks like it from the air. Um, landing checklist, don't really have one. Are there checklists? Nope, don't have a checklist. So no checklist, no ATC. Just your nav log and your map, and that is it. Good. So, makes it simpler, actually. Fewer things to worry about. Okie dokie, let's come on in. It says we're too high. It is a Teldrager, though, so we'll kind of nose down. Need to get some presets going, so this is one. Two, we don't have a three yet. For four, let's go out here. No, let's go like this and come out here, maybe. No, I'm trying to get a side view. So we can look out the side when we taxi. We'll figure that out later, I guess. Never mind, let's just land the plane. All right, so I'm curious how this landing detection is going to work at such a big airport. Um, on the smaller one, you just land on the strip. But we're going to figure it out together. Like I said, I haven't watched anybody else do this because I don't want any hints or anything. So I'm not exactly sure how this works. But we're going to taxi. If we have to, we're going to taxi to the right to where everybody's parked. And we'll figure it out. So here we go first set of flaps. Not sure how many sets of flaps this has. Anything down there that says flaps? No, because it's a lever, probably. Second set of flaps, I'm going to float. Whoa. Okay, do we have a third? Let's see if we have a third. Nope, looks like just two. Alrighty, here we go, Taldrager. So we're going to nose down the level off, but we're going really slowly already. So let's aim for the numbers. Let's see how many times we bounce. Hopefully we can bounce fewer than... Let's go for four bounces. Four bounces are better. We'll land right at stall here, so we're going to come down nice and low. And then we'll level off a little bit. Don't want that tail to touch. Stall, stall. There's one... Oh! Was it even one bounce? Maybe it was a bounce. Maybe we had a bounce in there. Alright, if I go like this, there we go. That'll be preset 6. And this will be preset 4. And seven, and can't see Jack. So here we go. Come on. All right, so now, how do we get it to tell us that we landed so we can move on to the next leg? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, there's another cub over here. See this? We're going to use that as a clue. And um, maybe that'll help us. That's how I'm going to, that's what I'm looking for. It's the same plane we're in. Let's just see if that's what it wants. And it looks like there's a fuel station there too, but in order to do this, you have to map, repair, and refuel on a keyboard key. So for me, I binded it to Control R, and that's how we will fuel up and um, all that stuff. So let's slow down here and let's see. Whoa, not stop. Slow down, buddy. Oh, there we go. Nice. 51 minutes. And it was supposed to be like 29. What? Are you serious right now? Okay, let's do next and see what happens. Okay, so let's do a re... Whoa, come on here, Mousy. Let's do a repair, refuel. Um, we should have strobe on. And landing on. The heck? That was weird. 
Um, what is this stuff? I don't have my my things turned on. So I don't know what that is. Don't know any of this stuff is. Must be magnetos. I'll have to turn tool tips on in the future, not today. I did want to do something. I forgot what else. Oh, repair refuel. For me, I have control R. Control R should fill everything up. We have full gas now and everything. Okie dokie. Um, we have a tug that we're in the way of. All right, let's see. Let's do one more leg in this video. So let's see what it says. It says, uh, Little Lake, heading 334, so that's about due north. Depart from the airport and begin the second leg of your bush trip adventure, heading northwest towards Route 395. The long asphalt ribbon bends ever so slightly north, leading you to a pass flanked by sloping hills and eventually toward the aptly named Little Lake. Okay, so we're going to get in there and follow a road for 11 minutes. Should we move this over a little bit so you can see what it says? There we go, for 11 minutes. Name Little Lake. Okay. Um, and that's what we're looking for, apparently. Okay, okay, let's get in the air. Let's close this up. And um, our thing, we're going to go north. And we're going to look for... Are we stopping 099? Let's see. We are stopping at 099. Okay. So we're just going to go northish along the mountains until we see some weird river-looking lake things. And then we're going to see this long kidney with a couple... Actually, it looks like a digestive tract. And then we're going to look for an airstrip which we'll talk about once we're in there. Okay, so um, back into taxi view, get some flaps down and parking brake off. And let's get out of here so we can get out of the way of traffic. Sorry, guys. Sorry. And we'll do a midfield takeoff just because we can. I'm going to keep going. And this is so much fun. I cannot believe how fun this is. We'll see how many legs we get to in each video. We'll see how much I leave out in my blibber blabber. So you might be watching all my blibber blabber right now, or you might be watching super edited down. I don't know. But either way, I've been doing a lot of talking. <laughs> but that's okay. Alrighty, let's see here. Let's um, let's get out of this way here. Come on. So it looks like they don't care much about checklists or starting up or anything. It's just go and stop and enjoy the sights I guess whoa whoa and here we go and upsie daisy brakes to stop the wheels flaps coming in there we go alrighty um, reset the barometer I don't think that matters in this one so we're gonna take off and we're gonna follow the road that was over there yep so let's get closer to the mountains and let's look for this river, um, yeah, we're right here, so let's actually keep going pretty much straight, and then follow this road, and look for the weird water, and then the digestive track. It's pretty simple, I think. Let's hop outside and have a peek, see. Um, yeah, see, there's the, oh, if we took off runway heading, we'd still be going where we need to go. I just was having fun. So there's our road. And basically, we're just going to fly up here a little bit. Probably look for the digestive track. Okay, I don't have much else to say. I need to trim this thing out. The whole account I'm fighting like crazy. All right, I'm going to get a hold of my airplane, and I'll catch in a little bit. Alrighty, so let's keep reading about what we're doing here. So, as you continue along Route 395, you'll soar over volcanic fields and chasm of sculpted black lava. Turn the Highway Reservoirs and bifurcated 
bifurcated bodies of water on the east side of the road. Well, that's what those things really saw. Then we'll do that for eight and a half minutes. That must be what the stuff is up here. Maybe. We're not quite there yet, but it'll be there. Alrighty. At the far end of the upper reservoir, which is that digestive tract, Father Los, Los Angeles Aqueduct, as it carries water north through the parched landscape, where the waterway runs parallel to Highway 395 and the pathway between them, you'll find an unassuming dirt runway. This is your next landing spot, the o Olancha Strip. Okay, and there's a picture of it. So there's the duct, aqueduct, there's the highway, and there's the dirt strip. So that's grass, but that's dirt. I assume we're landing on the dirt. If not, we'll just taxi around and tell them. It tells us we're good. Simple enough. Okie dokie. Let's just keep looking around here. Alright, just checking in with y'all. We've started coming down a little bit. I did let us climb quite a bit. And now we're coming down just because we do need to land. I don't want it to be too difficult to find. I want to go get on the first shot. So, I'm able to tell where we are on the map. It's super easy to follow. Um, this is the googly gook right here. That's what all this mess is. So then when we go a little bit longer, we should see the digestive tract. And then right at the end of that digestive track, between the road and the river, we need to find um, that unassuming dirt strip, which looks like that. So there you go. That's what we get. So, um, okay, it looks like we get two pods of buildings. We're landing after the first pod of buildings and the third pod there. Okay. We are going to overspeed and blow up our airplane. Holy cow. Got to pay attention. I was slowly trimming down as we were sightseeing. And you know how it goes when you sightsee too long at once. Um, you can have bad things happen. All right. The digestive track is coming into view right here. There's going to be two of them. And then the river crosses. And there's the first one, second one. First one, second one. It's going to cross. And that's where we're going to land between the river and the highway and it's going to look like that two pods of buildings landing after the first one keep an eye on the viaduct okay i think we can do it i don't want to be too low because then we won't be able to see from the air but i don't want to be too high because then we won't be able to land on it without circling around oh my gosh what is with these dra what is that what is this these like drafts and things it happened earlier too during sightseeing. Weird. Good thing I'm paying attention, I guess. All right, coming up on five grand. I don't want to. I have to be able to see where we're going. So let's go left of the highway because the airport's at an angle. Right. Yeah, airport's at an angle pointing back towards the highway. So let's go to the left of it and see what happens here. We're getting really close. Really close. So there's the second reservoir, and we must be landing right in here, I would assume, because there's the river crossing the highway going that way. So somewhere in here. Let's keep a careful lookout with a keen eye. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to this one. With a keen eye. And um, I don't know why my sim keeps stalling out on me. Maybe because it's that time where my computer starts running things. All right, um, yeah, very interesting. 
Okie dokie. Is this highway even on our VFR map? You'd think it would be, wouldn't you? But it isn't. Okay, doesn't matter. We know where we're going. We know what's up. Let's have at it. Okay. That is obviously is it. So let's prepare for landing. Everybody fasten your seatbelts. Flight attendants, please prepare for landing. I wonder what scary stuff goes on in that building. Prepare. Everybody put the snack trays away. And um, if you're in the bathroom, too late. Too late. And we're sitting really high. I don't think we need to be that high for that view. Maybe more like that. That'll be our one. There we go. That's much more realistic. Okay, here we go. Um, maybe a tidge higher? There we go. That's even better. There, that's way better than it was. We were like standing on the roof. All right, even that might be a little high, but whatever. We'll go with this for a while. All right, I don't see the runway yet, but I know that's going to be it. Let's come down, or not come down, let's slow down even more because we can. Is it going to pop into view here? Because it's angled towards the highway, mostly. Mostly. Oh, let's stay above flap speed right now. Get your feet on those rudder pedals. And do we see it yet? Okay, there are the buildings. Actually, it's over here. There are the buildings. First pod. Third pod. I don't see the second pod. Um, um, I don't see it. Don't totally see it. I see the pod of buildings. Okay, because we land quite a bit left of the pod here. Um, oh, flap range, flap range, full flaps. This can go as slow as possible. Um, according to this, we aim for that third pod. And it's not up there, is it? See way up in the distance to the left? No, it has to be here. We're just going to land here and taxi around. Not in the water. Okay, just land here. We're going to taxi around and tell us as we got it. That's what somebody else had to do when they had problems with this. So let it just about stall. Just about stall. And there we go. All right. So now, now we just have to figure out where to go. Yeah, we're just going to have to stop here. Let's hop outside. So that's... Now it worked. Okay. That was like two hours of my time wasted that you didn't have to watch because I edited it. Okie dokie. Well, let's hit next. And um, that's going to be it for this video. That is leg one and two. Next time we do this, we'll take off and do leg three and whatever else we get done. Okay, like, subscribe, leave a comment, please use the algorithm game. I gotta get to bed. That took like four hours to do 20 minutes of flying. I'll see you next time.